about how to use emotions in your favor. We have this really dark one. It's called depression. Depression is very heavy. Some of you might be there. And some of the greatest artists of all time struggled with depression every day of their life. Every human has felt everything. And if you avoid an emotion, sometimes it just sits there in the back, just harboring you and dragging and pulling at you until you face it. So it's important to face all emotions. Depression can be used in your favor. This is the source. This very dark place is the source of really where all your creativity stems. Because great artists come from an understanding of the human condition. And the human condition and the struggle of the human condition is where we live. We don't live in the thriving as much. I mean, we love to thrive. But we learn and grow and build from the struggles. That's where our true creativity comes from. So to face depression is actually really important as an artist. And it's kind of like I want you to think of depression in a different way now. I want you to see it kind of inside out. And that means go inside the feeling and find out what's lying there. Now, I want you to know that the surface emotion that it might be disguised in is anger. Because anger always shows itself on top. It's like the crust of a feeling, of a dark feeling. Of course, in joy, the crust of anger does not show up. But, or some of you might, but anger is really the crust of depression and, and um, sometimes anxiety and fear and um, loss. Um, and sometimes when we feel like we're not, things aren't fair, we get angry. But depression lives under that. And if you can slide into a consciousness in that state, and then I want you to take a walk with it, literally. I want you to go outside with that depression and walk and look at things. And I want you to get really quiet, quieter than you think you've been, because depression makes you quiet often. But I want you to even get quieter so you can slide into the center of the experience of it. And from there, I want you to take what you do best, which is either write or direct or act. And I want you to take the source of your creativity and use it, scoop up that experience from the center and communicate through it. This isn't as easy as it sounds, or it's so easy, as it, easier than it sounds because everyone will have a different relationship with this source. But I want you to be patient with yourself. Take your time. I really, I really like when I'm in a place of this kind to meditate. And I will sit on a, my couch in a really comfortable position, but sitting up so that I know I'm very present. And I get very, very quiet. And I just let myself be. And I might be in that. And one thing I learned when I was very young is my father once told me that when you meditate, it's just closing your eyes and being awake. And that helped me a great deal because there was always a lot of noise in my head. I say, Dad, all these voices are coming. He goes, it doesn't matter. Just close your eyes, be awake, and just wait until the voices get quieter. And I did. And so I can tell you that at the very beginning, if I haven't meditated in a long time, there'll be a lot of voices there. But if I just let myself be and sit on that couch and allow myself to drop into the center of this experience, I can transmute it to something extremely creative. Some of my best work has come out of depression. So it can stop you, but it can also start you. And it might take you on a completely new journey. And being an artist, you have to enjoy those new journeys. You have to go, oh, yay, I have a new idea, a new thought, a new direction I'm going to go in. I'm going to take this road and see where it leads me. And because I want for you to be free in every feeling you feel. And that's how you become prolific as an artist. And that's how you really not only grow, but how you communicate and how you connect because it's a universal feeling.
Hi, I'm Kimberly Jensen. Please comment and please subscribe.